Hey there, Saki here from Saki Tech, and in today's video, I'll be barking commands at Bixby. Specifically, commands that are doable with Bixby Voice, but not possible using Siri on the iPhone. Such as the ability to control your Galaxy S8 using your voice. So let's dive in and get started, but before that, make sure to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to Saki Tech, as well as follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Saki Tech Online. Alright, let's go. Hi Bixby, pull down the notifications panel. Okay, here are your notifications. Hi Bixby, expand messages notification. Okay, I've expanded those notifications. Hi Bixby, close the notifications panel. Hi Bixby, reorder the quick panel settings. Okay, let's edit the quick panel here. Hi Bixby, I'm done. Exit. Sure thing. I closed the quick panel. Hi Bixby, launch the calculator app. Hi Bixby, open this app as pop-up. All set. I've opened it for you. Hi Bixby, minimize this app. Okay, I've minimized the app. Hi Bixby, open the gallery app, show me the latest photo and edit that photo. Hi Bixby, add the cream effect. Okay, I applied it. Hi Bixby, save this photo and close the gallery app. Let's check it. Hi Bixby, close the gallery app. Hi Bixby, go into the settings. Okay, here are the settings. Hi Bixby, go to display under settings. Okay, here you go. Hi Bixby, go to screen mode under display. Let's set the screen mode here. Hi Bixby, set the screen mode to adaptive display. Okay, I set it to adaptive display. Hi Bixby, go to the home screen. Hi Bixby, close all recent apps. Hi Bixby, show me the quick panel. Sure thing. Here's the quick panel. Hi Bixby, change the quick panel size to 4x3. Done. I've changed your layout to 4x3. Hi Bixby, close the notifications panel. Sure thing. I closed the quick panel. Hi Bixby, lock the screen. Okay, 